A passenger tire is a complex item made of a combination of components made from numerous ingredients. Let's look at the five essential stages that lets the rubber meet the road next. The first stage in tire production is sourcing quality ingredients, which come together to make essential compounds. Some of these include steel. High strength steel serves as the starting material for the manufacture of steel belts made of steel cord and of bead cores made of steel wire. Chemicals. Chemicals are vital in creating synthetic rubber and materials used to reduce wear, increase grip, and extend the life of a tire. Natural rubber. Rubber is extracted from special trees generally grown in large plantations. The milky fluid or latex that flows out of the trees coagulates when acid is added to it. It's cleaned with water and pressed into solid bales for easier transportation and storage. Bales of natural and synthetic rubber are sectioned, cut into portions, weighed, and mixed with other ingredients according to precise recipes. You'll find as many as 12 different rubber compounds used in some of today's modern passenger car tires. And textiles. Rayon, nylon, polyester, and aramid fibers can all serve as reinforcement in tires. The second stage is manufacturing those components. Pre-treated steel cord supplied on wire spools is embedded into one or more layers of rubber, resulting in a continuous sheet of cord and rubber. This is cut at a defined angle to the correct length according to tire size and rolled up for further processing. Kneadable rubber material that has been blended in a mixer is now ready to be made into the tread. A screw type extruder shapes the rubber into an endless strip of tread. After extrusion, the weight per meter is checked and the tread is cooled. The tread strip is cut to length for the tire size and weight again. Then textile threads are embedded into a thin layer of rubber. This endless sheet is then cut to the desired width at a 90 degree angle to the direction of travel and rewound for further processing. The core of the bead is made up of many ring-shaped steel wires. Each of them has its own rubber coating. This loop is then fitted with a rubber apex. Sidewall sections are cut to suit the particular tire size liner and an airtight inner liner is formed into a wide, thin layer. Stage three is where building the tire begins. The various semi-finished products come together on the tire building machine and are assembled into what are known as a green tire. This is done in two stages, the casing and the tread belt assembly. This green tire is then sprayed with a special fluid to prepare it for stage four, vulcanization. Now we're in the curing process. The tire gets its final shape after being vulcanized for a certain length of time at a certain pressure and temperature. Raw rubber becomes flexible, elastic rubber, and curing press molds are engraved with the tread pattern and sidewall markings. Finally, we're at stage five, quality control. But this stage is really ongoing throughout the entire process. Each individual stage of production, from the inspection of raw materials to delivery of finished tires, is subject to ongoing quality control. Finished tires are visually inspected, x-rayed, and examined for uniformity. Once tires have passed all checks and inspections, they are sent to the distribution warehouse for shipment. I'm David Sickles coming to you from the Tire Review Continental Tire Studio at Babcox Media. Thanks for watching.